Welcome back to Electrical Lectures channel. In today's video, we will see wiring diagram or connection of automatic transfer switch, ATS or automatic change over switch. Also we will learn how ATS automatically transfers from one power supply to second power supply. Let's start by placing the main components. This is the three-phase energy meter showing main supply. This is three-pole circuit breaker for main supply. This is automatic change over switch. This is three-pole circuit breaker for generator. And this is the output breaker for load. And these are our three-phase plus neutral load bus. Let's start the connections one by one. Please watch the video till the end. First connect all three phases from output of energy meter with input of mains breaker. Now connect output of circuit breaker with input terminal number 1 of ATS along with neutral wire. Now similarly connect all three phases of generator with input of generator circuit breaker. Now connect the output side of generator breaker and neutral wire with input terminal number 2 of ATS. Now connect all three phases in neutral of both outputs with each other or, simply short both outputs of ATS in proper sequence. Now make the connection from output of ATS with input side of load circuit breaker. Now finally connect output of load circuit breaker with load bus. Now we will see how automatic transfer or change over switch works. This switch applies to the automatic change over between mains power supply and generator power supply. When power supply 1 is normal, it is switched on and connects with load. When power supply 1 fails, and power supply 2 or generator supply is normal, the switch changes to power supply 2. When power supply 1 or mains power resume, the switch automatically changes to power supply 1. I hope you clearly understand how to wire up automatic change over switch and how ATS works. For more interesting videos, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.